I investigated. I was pretty close with a lot of the regulars, small, family-owned place in a suburb, and came to find out that she had been a offering sex for money. What's the most NSFW thing you've seen happen in a workplace? I'm so glad you can make it to another one of my chill story times. If we haven't met yet I'm Andrew, and I'll be narrating today's stories. Before we start the video why not like the video, subscribe, and ring the bell button. So that you don't miss any more NSFW story times with me. Let's not fool around anymore and get into the video. I'm a teacher and one day walking past the headmaster office I heard some very distinctive moans. I guess they call her the headmaster for a reason. The male client jumped on me and started licking me everywhere. I work at a vet though so it's okay. The guy was watching porn on his laptop. During anti-sexual harassment training. I walked in on two co-workers having sex. The guy just said hey, what's up? Like it was nothing. Sadly it didn't work out for them. He pulled a gun on her in the parking lot a few months later. Honorable mention to the time I caught an employee getting fingered by a customer in a stairwell. Walked in on my boss boning the HR director in his office. My next review and raise were the best I ever had. Once I caught one of the cleaning ladies getting banged by our barman in a refrigerated cell. They were both naked and going at it while under zero degrees centigrade. We had a row of ten or so portapities that started swaying uncontrollably. Turns out a couple decided that a portapity is a discreet place to hook up. We caught a 60-year-old rich, married, white lady, blowing a homeless guy in our bathroom during Fantasy Fest. While her husband waited outside. In her defense, I don't think she knew he was homeless. Once I walked in on one of my patients having sex with her boyfriend. She had given birth, vaginally, six hours earlier. I almost threw up. I worked in a cemetery for years. I remember one of the funeral directors was banging a receptionist, and one night she met him out in the wall crypts, and the security guard caught them with my homie's pants down. NSFW and hilarious. Side note. He was engaged to somebody else who worked there. The fireworks were legendary. A well-qualified female was promoted to be a line supervisor at a manufacturing facility I worked at years ago. One of the men on the line was rather upset that he'd have to be reporting to a woman. When the newly promoted line supervisor was making her first review inspection of the line, he dropped his pants and underpants and waved his dick at her in defiance. Her first administrative act as supervisor was to terminate his employment worked at a place that had a boardroom that overlooked the factory. The boardroom windows were covered in mirror vinyl, and usually it's brighter in the factory than the boardroom, so you can't see in from the factory. After work it's getting dark so the lights in the boardroom are brighter than the factory, so the effect is reversed, and you can see everything in the boardroom from the factory, but can't see the factory from inside the boardroom. That's when the CEO walks into the boardroom and ducks a receptionist on the boardroom table with a whole bunch of factory workers watching. A bonding day for the entire production staff. It's basically four to six hours at a hotel with access to the pool, gym, sports fields, and a few organized activities that are aimed to raise morale. Now you're not supposed to bring alcohol, in fact it's technically forbidden, but as long as you're not a complete moron the management looks the other way. Walk into a toilet to see one woman and three guys going at it, it was definitely consensual. I wasn't the first to see it, and wasn't the last, too drunk to realize that they should probably lock the door at least. Management looked the other way. At my gym, a hired trainer ran out of the bathroom butt naked, dick in hand stroking and screaming at the top of his lungs. He blew the most ridiculous sized load I've ever seen on the preacher curl machine, then fell over and passed out. The police and paramedics had to be called, and after they took the guy and did what they needed to do with the scene. The gym manager had to clean up the massive load off the machine. I skipped my class and just hung out there because I wanted to see how it all played out. I worked at a Nissan dealership located at a busy intersection in my city back in the early 2000s. One of the younger car salesmen was trying to sell a new car to a woman who looked to be in her 40s. It was going well, they were working on closing the deal. 
So I take a break and walk to the back car lot for a smoke to find the salesman wedged between two cars amongst a row of cars with the woman he was selling a car to on her knees, giving him a blowjob. I was in complete shock. She never stopped and he just smiled and gave me a thumbs up. I am a 36 years old female and still think of this one often enough, hug. Work in a hospital -er. Had a patient come in for vaginal pain. Worked her up and positioned her in the stirrups so the doctor could come in and do a quick pelvic exam. Right after I did that a critical patient came in that required the doc's attention for a while. After about 20 minutes I went back into the pelvic exam patient's room to apologize for the wait and put the stirrups back down so she could lay normally until the doctor had time to examine her. I walked into her boyfriend on his knees in front of her eating her out, asked him what the hell he was doing, and he told me he just couldn't resist with her in that position. I escorted him to the waiting room and told security he wasn't allowed back in. Turns out she had chlamydia shocker. Edit. Also for clarification since many people seem to be appalled that I left this perfectly capable 30 yo woman in stirrups for 20 min. I work in the county or night shift, so when a critical patient comes in it's all hands on deck, since we only have three nurses and a doc. Was a little preoccupied doing CPR to stop and tell a patient it might be a while. Friend was a plumber. He was installing a water heater on the roof with his assistant. He was on the roof and the assistant was fetching him tools and passing them up the ladder. After a while he asked his assistant for something and realized he wasn't there. So he climbed down the ladder to see where he was. Found him ducking the homeowner's maid on the kitchen table. they just met about one hour earlier. Worked in an emergency room, and I can tell you that a good number of the nurses and paramedics were having affairs and just having rampant sex with each other. I remember one specific time walking by a patient room and just hearing sex sounds. A few minutes later, a disheveled nurse and firefighter came strolling back to the nurse's station. A different type of NSFW, one of the physicians was busted for having alcohol in his big gulp while working. Another time we discovered one nurse in the bathroom half passed out with a needle in her arm. County hospitals are awesome. I walked into the office kitchen and had a female work colleague take off her top and asked me what I thought of her breasts. I was a bit blindsided by this and said, I've only come for a cup of tea. This girl is young enough to be my daughter. A few days later, she came into my office, wiggled her bum at me and asked me what I thought of her bum. Edit. This girl was 20 plus years younger than me. Nope, I wasn't interested. I did raise this issue with the boss, who just laughed and said, she's a character. She had resigned anyway, and I was taking over from her sans the flashing. She told me she was a model, and she couldn't show me the photos because they were not suitable for work. She had shown the photos to a very conservative sales rep, who refused to come to our office after that. I can only gather the pics were more pornographic in nature than I had assumed them to be. She spent a lot of time pole dancing in the courtyard. I'm not sure she was wearing underwear beneath her short skirt. Lots of people have commented on my cup of tea. Yes, I am British. Edit 2. Regarding I've only come for a cup of tea comment. I'm getting a lot of feedback on this. I'd love this to be memed for posterity. Though still not in the same league as the right in front of my salad. I managed a bar two years ago. I had this girl that bartended for me who would go missing on camera all the time. I had them, cameras, everywhere inside, she'd just disappear for half an hour at a time. I investigated. I was pretty close with a lot of the regulars, small, family-owned place in a suburb, and came to find out that she had been offering sex for money. Soliciting sex from behind my bar. She was gone shortly thereafter. I couldn't fire her for something that I couldn't prove, I ended up letting her go for neglecting to fulfill her duties as a bartender. She was written up for multiple occasions of leaving the bar customers unattended, and that was enough to get her the hell out. I don't know if that could somehow fall back on me, or the bar, but I was not interested in finding out. Edit. Yes, I could have fired her for anything I wanted. If she wore a pair of shoes I didn't like, I could fire her on the spot. But the dynamic changes a little bit when you're in a small town. Drama spreads fast, she would have complained to someone about it along the line, 
and half the community would have ended up boycotting the bar, the other half would have thought very lowly of her. I don't see how either of those things are good for anyone, so I held off and fired her for something else. I didn't want to deal with that kind of confrontation, not gonna lie, the whole situation was pretty uncomfortable. Like and subscribe for more funny, interesting, and scary r slash ask reddit videos.